Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, and you are watching Lemmings Redux, and we are going lunaticking for the last time that we have six talismans left, and there were nine, I think, in Lunatic originally, but we did three of them off the cuff during the normal playthrough, so we only have six left to get, and they're going to take up the last three episodes of this series, and right now it is hero time. We've got to save all 30 Lemmings. I think, is this the only level we've done that had a time limit in a talisman level might be i haven't been paying that much attention though uh and we have to complete it using no climbers where normally we would probably use a climber right in here so what do we want to do do we want to do we want to build over that wall do we want to build hmm, no there's only there's only one minute in this level taking that long to build would be a luxury of the bourgeoisie so let's Let's think. Let's let's frame click this out for a second. Maybe we want to do a chicken express on this one. Let's see. Okay, I think I might see a turnaround here. Hmm, time might get tight on this one. If you do it the normal way, you can beat this level with about 20 seconds left, but I have something that might cut it a little fine, but might do better. I'm going to let them all walk. Okay, here we go. Let's see. And I'm going to have the one, instead of having the second one from the front mine through, I'm going to have the second one from the back mine through. All right, so he's going to pop through, and then we're going to get the basher going. Now, hopefully, hopefully he gets through this before they turn around and hit the wall. That's kind of what I'm banking on here. All right, so there's our turnaround guy. All right, they're coming along. They're coming along nicely. Boom. Okay, so now we're going to use our builder in that little thin, narrow spot and turn him around. Okay, hopefully now... Okay, they got about 30, 30, 30, 30 seconds left. They can make it to the exit in 30 seconds, right? Okay, this one... Okay, so you don't use a climber or a floater for this one? Okay, that's a bit of a... Okay, 20 seconds. Hopefully this works. This one was pretty easy to suss out on the fly. Okay. Might even be worth a bronze talisman, which is a rare, rare thing to, for a... Uh, eight seconds left. And I think they're all going to make it. Four seconds from freedom and... Pop! Boom. Wow. Boy. Woohoo. Okay. That one moved fast. Well, today's going to be a shorty then. Uh, wow. Yeah, that one was pretty easy. I didn't think it would... Didn't think it would be that simple, but especially being a silver. Boy, yeah, yeah, these lunatic ones. Someone said with the lunatic talismans that, like, with the lunatic levels, they're so hard that generally finding an alternate solution is easy because there's probably only really one other way to do it. And, uh, yeah, it's rare that we've seen a silver one that probably needs to be downgraded, but, uh,. There you have it. All right, next up is which one are you trying to get? Complete with no floaters. I think, if I recall right, last time I tried to do this one, I uh, tried to go to the left. I tried to do the talisman on the fly, got caught up in doing that, and tried to go to the exit on the left, which is uh, this one down here. And then uh, I decided maybe next time I try it, I should go into this one. So I'm going to try to do this one by ear, too. And see what happens. I'm gonna... Alright, they're coming out at a rate of 99, which... That's fine, they're all safe. Alright, so I'm going to... Let's see, I have bashers and diggers galore. But I'm going to... Let's see, I can probably... I think I can bash safely out of here. This doesn't look quite symmetrical. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I can hang on to my diggers for other... Okay, so he lands. Yes, he does land safely. Oh, but he seals up the thing. Dang it. I didn't want that. That would be that would be very bad. Although maybe they can all go about the business of saving themselves. If uh well, do I really want them trying to do that? I I would guess probably not. I don't think I do, so I'm going to back up and uh, go ahead and make him dig. All right, fine. Twist my arm, Mr. Lemming. Very well. Proceed as you will. Okay, so now we're going to... 
Well, we didn't want him to get to the edge of the Dow, did we? Okay, we want to make sure... Okay, we want to make sure he's going to land in that segment. There we go. The rest of them can get their way out of here, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and... The really tough part, I think, is... Okay, we're going to bash again. We might end up bashing twice here, but I'm going to go across. We want to funnel them all in to the right, I think, is the way we want to go about doing this. And I hope I don't use up too many digging tools in the process. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to have to come up with something else entirely, and that's never fun. No, no it isn't. Um, Alright, so... I think I may be doing okay on this front, however. Um, what do I want to do now? How can I ensure that the ones going to the right get out just safe and fine? If I dig... Digging is the, uh... Digging is an unfortunate... Let's see... Well, what I might be able to do is... Maybe I can have them all pile into the middle. I think I'd like to use my miner right about now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop down so that I know... There we go. And that way, they can go to the left and be fine. And then we can also have... Okay, we've only got one builder left. I think we may want to build across to here. So what does that leave us? That leaves us with one builder, which is probably the best way to... Well, we can bash to get them out. In fact, we can bash and bash to get both of these folks out. I think we have two bashers we can afford to use. I think we'll bash both parties out. I think we might have this actually done. Oh my gosh. This is going to be the shortest episode ever. This is actually kind of embarrassing how short this is going to go. But I am committed to a two-talisman... I'm committed to a two talisman pace. So if they go down there, they end up piling into there. So yeah, we have some that can go to the right and some that can go to the left. Okay, so we go... Alright, and then these guys now... These guys now on the right can build their way out. There's probably lots of ways to do this one, uh, to be honest. But alright, let's make sure everybody is going safely. They pop down into there using the stalagmite for our height advantage. That's very good. Okay, okay, oh, they can't actually get out of there. Let's back that up real quick then. Is it possible to build out to the left? Do we have good build? We don't have good build from there. That's a little bit distressing. Although if we dig out, okay, everybody is fine in here. Let's just go ahead and say, We don't want to dig out through here, and it's probably... Is it easier to build out to the left? It might be easier to build out to the left. Hmm. Well, now I'm a little bit stuck. I still kind of like the idea of going... Letting both of these guys bash. Yeah, it looks good to me. I think we might be able to salvage this... Assuming the drop height is not too bad here. Because what I want to think maybe of doing here, dig here, and then regardless of how they drop, that might be too much of a drop for everybody. I have a feeling it's awfully it's awfully spotty. I I don't care for it. Nope, that's not quite nope, that's not gonna do it. Okay. But if I'm bashing out to the left, oh yeah. Well, if they're all going to the right, then do I really need him? Well, hold on. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm fundamentally misunderstanding what I should do here. Maybe I should have him dig. Okay, I think what I should have him do is dig. Mmm, yeah. I should have him dig, I think, instead. There we go. That way we have a good... Yeah, everybody has a good way out from there. 
Okay, so now if I dig, that means, well, I still have a builder here. But they all have a pretty easy way of getting out from this point. So now, yes, I can continue to bash through both of these segments. And then I can mine right here. That's a little more satisfactory for everybody. So yeah, so we use these two exits here. No floaters are used, and I think everybody is going where they ought to be going. I think we've got it. That one was not too bad either. So there we go. That was a that was a pretty simple little breather of a day. But I know there's probably some crazy stuff coming up. Well, there we go. We've unlocked two talismans, and we did it in just over 10 minutes of recording time. That is pretty wild uh, talisman solving right there. But no, we're not going to move forward. We're going to keep it 2-2-2 two, two, two because I know there's some crazy stuff coming. Looking at you, I am AT.